Good day everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to discuss mathematical language and symbols. This is Mahid Emma Muntaram from the Mindanao State University main campus in Marawi City. Language allows human beings as members of a social group and participants in its culture express themselves. It is usually spoken, signed, or written in symbols. The functions of language include communication, the expression of identity, play, imaginative expression, and emotional release. Formally, we define language to be the use of a system of communication which consists of a set of sounds or written symbols. Language was invented to communicate ideas to others. It is to transmit information, understand the expressed ideas, acquire knowledge or information, and construct social identity. According to David Kilger, language is obviously a vital tool. Not only is it a means of communicating thoughts and ideas, but it forges friendships, cultural ties, and economic relationships. Mathematics is a language since it allows people to communicate. It is used to write numbers, sets, functions, and perform operations which are vital in conducting trades, measuring land, and building monuments as done by our predecessors. Now, imagine the following scenario. You are in a math class and the instructor passes a piece of paper to each student. It is announced that the paper contains study strategies for students of mathematics. You are to read it and make comments. However, upon glancing at the paper, you observe that it is written in a foreign language that you do not understand. The question is, is the instructor being fair? The answer is obviously not. Indeed, the instructor is probably trying to make a point. However, although the ideas in the paragraph may be simple, there is no access to the ideas without knowledge of the language in which the ideas are expressed. This situation has a very strong analogy in mathematics. People frequently have trouble understanding mathematical ideas not necessarily because the ideas are difficult, but because they are being presented in a foreign language, the language of mathematics. Mathematical language is a system used in the field of mathematics to communicate mathematical ideas, concepts, and theories. As a language, mathematics has a number of characteristics. The first characteristic of the language of mathematics is being precise. This means that mathematical language is able to make very fine distinctions. Hence, a little manipulation of symbols may mean a different thing. For instance, putting a dash symbol in the equality sign in 1 equals 11 means entirely different. Precision, which also means being accurate or exact, is the reason why mathematics is considered to be an exact science. Mathematics is full of symbols. In order to make understanding easier, there are two things to consider. First is knowing the context. The number 920 is to be read as 920 in the context of time, while 920 in the context of whole numbers and currency. Second is knowing the conventions. Languages have conventions. In English, for example, it is conventional to capitalize proper names such as Anna and Japan. This convention makes it easier for a reader to distinguish between a common noun like Carol, a Christmas song, and a proper noun like Carol, a person. 
Mathematics also has its conventions which help readers distinguish between different types of mathematical expressions. Mathematical conventions are set of facts, names, and notations which are widely used in the area of mathematics. A popular example of a mathematical convention is the PEMDAS which serves as guide in performing arithmetic operations. Majority of mathematical names and symbols are conventional because they have been used by math practitioners for many years. Mathematical symbols are used to refer to certain quantities, concepts, and ideas. Some of the commonly used mathematical symbols are the 10 digits, the operators, the variables, and the Greek letters. Another characteristic of mathematical language is being concise. This means that mathematical language is able to say or write things briefly. We can always convert mathematical language into expressions or equations. For instance, instead of writing the sum of 5 and a number, we may write 5 plus x, where x is a variable representing the unknown number. A number decreased by 9 can be mathematically written as x minus 9 and 10 times a number is simply 10x. Here are some other examples of the English translations of mathematical expressions and sentences. Being familiar with these translations greatly help us in understanding the language of mathematics. The third characteristic is being powerful. This means that mathematical language can express complex thoughts with relative ease using equations and formulas. For example, it is known that work is the measure of energy transfer that occurs when an object is moved over a distance by an external force at least part of which is applied in the direction of the displacement. If the force is constant, Work may be computed by multiplying the length of the path by the component of the force acting along the path. To express this concept mathematically, the work W is equal to the force F times the distance D. Now, if the force is being exerted at an angle theta to the displacement, the work done is given by W equals force times distance times the cosine of the angle theta. The brightest minds in history have used mathematics to lay the foundation of how we measure and understand our universe. The following are some examples of formulas that altered the course of humanity. First is Newton's law of universal gravitation, which explains the movement of planets and how gravity works on Earth and throughout the universe. The Pythagorean theorem, an ancient theorem that is a fundamental principle in Euclidean geometry. It is the basis for the definition of distance between two points. This theorem also describes relationship between the sides of a right triangle on a plane. Third is the well-known Einstein's theory of relativity, which is the generally accepted theory on the relationship between space and time. This has radically altered the course of physics and deepened our knowledge of the universe's past present, and future. It must be noted 
that the language of mathematics makes it easy to express the kind of thoughts that mathematicians like to express. Other characteristics of mathematical language are being non-temporal or unaffected by time and being devoid of emotional content. The language of mathematics can be learned but requires the amount of effort needed to learn any foreign language. We will end today's discussion with the following quote from Michael Shiro in 1997. One very important element in a student's mathematical success is his competence to communicate mathematically.